amazing, beautiful. It confirms everything people say about it. Oh, Sultan. The inhabitants of Constantinople are oppressed by their ruler. Meanwhile, the Venetians, the Serbs, and the Hungarians are all trying to gain influence and divide it among themselves. Through pressure from the Vatican, the Catholics have become active to wipe out Orthodox Christianity, but only days ago there was a grand ceremony to unite them. By order of Constantine and the Vatican. In reality, many of the Orthodox clergy are suffering at the hands of the Catholics and the citizens are reacting to this. When the Orthodox Patriarch Lucas Tataris was in Constantinople, he said, I prefer to see the Ottoman turban here than the cap of the Catholics. We may need these agitators to work with us, Korosdada, especially if we lay siege. Peace be with you. <laughs> What do you think? Alhamdulillah, Sultan. The more we advance in the construction, the more its beauty and magnificence becomes visible. It will indeed be a great structure when we are finished. Yes, Inshallah. I agree. Khalil Pasha, are you convinced that construction can be completed within three months? Or do you still think it will take three years to complete this fortress? I pray that God will help us to use this fortress to protect the peace and justice of our Ottoman nation. Master, your sheikh has arrived accompanied by a Byzantine man. Never keep my sheikh waiting. Yes, sir. Please come aboard. Follow me. Assalamu alaikum, Sultan. I introduce to you Laskinids, one of the learned men of the Byzantines. Wa alaikum assalam. Greetings to you both. He is offering you this clock of his own making. Oh. As a gift. Sit down, both of you. How are you? How are the people of Constantinople? Are they still afraid of this fortress? It is not so much the people, sir. They have nothing to lose. The Emperor and his advisors are the ones who are truly afraid. In the history of the city, the people have never witnessed such oppression as they have faced under Constantine. They live in misery and hardship. Constantine doesn't offer the least bit of regard for the people. We see your justice and equity from afar. Old Sultan Mohammed, the people of Constantinople greatly admire you for this. Our justice comes from our faith and the principles of Islam. I assure you that the doors of the empire are always open to people of knowledge and science. I thank you, sir. It was a pleasure speaking to you. As a matter of fact, I do not want to return to Constantinople at all. Do you have any experience in smelting? We need help in the manufacture of cannons. I cannot help with that, but my friend Orban would be perfect. Unfortunately, he's been imprisoned. Do you think he'd be willing to work with us? Surely he would, but he's been sentenced for a very long, long time. Hmm? I think we can shorten his sentence. By the spring of 1452, the Fort of Romilly was completed across from the Fort of Anatolia, giving the Muslims control of the strategic Bosphorus Strait and paving the way for the conquest of Constantinople.
And now, my sheikh, what do you think of our new fortress? As you know, your opinion means a great deal to us. Without doubt, much effort has been exerted. Why, three months ago, this area was barren rocks, except for a few trees. A short while ago, I was thinking how Allah has bestowed mankind with this power. You have created, O Sultan, a huge work that will remain, insha'Allah, until the Day of Judgment. I pray that God is pleased with you. and with everyone who participated in this effort. I transfer to you, my son, the sword, the throne, and a proud legacy of upholding the trust of those we govern. Now it is you, Muhammad, who must remain faithful to that trust and strive to establish peace and justice throughout the lands. O oh, mighty walls of Constantinople, O oh, walls of oppression, we will liberate your city and bring an end to your injustice. base should be done this way, sir. But couldn't you smelt it in one piece, as I've shown in the diagram? Mm, let it be a separate base, and then we will attach it later on. Fine, but ensure that it's solid enough to maintain its accuracy. Oh, Sultan, I believe the calculations you have made are correct. The large cannon you have described here will be quite appropriate. Until this day, however, I would never have dreamed that a cannon of 8-inch radius would be possible. From now on, plan on producing a cannon 12 inches in radius. <gasps> Why, Sultan, you could fit a man inside a cannon that large. And you know what that means, Musli? With cannons that large, the walls and fortress of Constantinople will easily be destroyed by our artillery. Sultan Muhammad knew that producing the cannons he envisioned would be decisive, either in encouraging Constantinople to surrender, or in opening the path for its conquest. So he devised an intricate plan to free Orban the cannon maker from his prison in the city. To prepare for this plan, the Sultan sent his men to learn all they could about the prison.
We've measured the distance between the moat and the wall, the width of the wall, and the distance between the wall and the prison. These measurements have been noted with extreme precision. Of course. And how will you conceal your digging? Well, first the sand will be spread on the ground between the bushes near the mouth of the tunnel. When we reach the moat, we will empty the sand into the water. Good. Then we will begin digging the main tunnel under the moat. Remember, we must be extremely precise with our measurements because the cell we need to reach is very small. Stop talking now. Get some sleep. Much work awaits us tomorrow, and it's getting very late. God, curse them and make this my last breakfast in this wretched place. Huh? Is that them? Could they have come this far? The sound is very close. They're under my feet. Yes, I can. I can hear you. Hey, what's going on in there? Orban, are you there? Yes, I hear you. You're in the right place. Orban, what's that noise from your cell? What's going on in there? Hey, why is your bed in the middle of the floor? It's nothing, nothing. I was merely cleaning the room, sir. Mm. Speak. Eh? What's going on? Ooh. Get out of my way. Thank you. 